Howdy gang, welcome to another exciting Mist Roundup. We're very glad to have you with us. And if you are new here, hit subscribe if you like what you see, because we've got plenty more to show you in our back catalog. But today, our focus is going to be on the very best bar salts currently available in 2024. Bar salts are a bit of a new development in vape juice. They come in response to the upcoming ban on disposable vapes that the UK government has announced. We're not gonna have disposable nicotine vapes for much longer, but that is okay because all of the best vape juice companies are now seeking to produce vape liquids that replicate that super intense flavor that you get from a disposable vape. In fact, a number of disposable vape manufacturers have also entered the bottled e-liquid game, meaning it's not gonna be difficult to get that same level of Elf Bar, Lost Mary, e satisfaction from a refillable kit. And ultimately, it's better value and there's way more strength options. So it's better all around. Today, we're gonna to take a look at some of the very best that are currently available. There's gonna be different flavors to suit different kinds of taste preferences. And and of course, different strengths as well. Without further ado, let's jump in and take a look at the very first of what we believe are the best bar salts you can currently buy. First up, a little fun fruit for you in the form of Cherry Chew, part of IVG's new IVG 6000 line of bar salts. 6,000, of course, meaning the number of puffs that you're going to get from it overall. Very similar to the way that a lot of disposable vapes are named. Cherry Chew purports to be a chewy cherry candy flavor, which you probably got from the name. We've all had them. I'm not gonna necessarily name brands of sweets, but you know the ones, those glistening, delicious, sometimes sugary coated, chewy, translucent cherry sweets. You get that flavor in this, but, I'm gonna go ahead and make a bit of an editorial decision and say that I actually slightly disagree with what IVG had to say about this flavor. That is not a criticism in any way. What IVG attempted to do here was to take that lovely, delicious, tart, natural cherry flavor, mix it with a bit of extra fizz for a bit of a sherbet edge, and then a bit of candy flavor as well in order to create a chewy cherry candy flavor profile. I think they accidentally added a bit of Chemical X and created a Cherry Aid flavor. That is what I get from Cherry Chew. When I puff it, it gives me this really lovely sparkling profile to it, which is doubtless that fizz that they added to try and replicate that kind of sherbet -y edge that cherry candies often have. But what I instead got was a delicious and cool, because there is a teeny tiny bit of ice in this, I believe, from the profile that I got when I was inhaling it, what I got was a really nice sparkling red glass of cherry soda. Deliciously refreshing, really sparkly and fizzy, and they've just used a bit of extra sugar to sand off some of the more sour edges of the cherry. Which personally, that's not necessarily to my tastes. I love sour flavors. If you're a fan of the channel, you'll know that. But I did find Cherry Chew to be a deliciously Moorish and highly refreshing flavor. I'm currently filming this in the middle of summer and I did find that this was actually very refreshing on a hot day. Very cool, fruity inhales with a lovely bit of extra sugar to just give it that kiss of perfection at the end. It is available in two strengths, 20 and 10 milligram. And in my opinion, it is one of the better cherry vape juices I've yet had the pleasure to try. Next up, a bit of pudding fun from those disposable vape daimyos over at Elf Bar with Strawberry Snow from their Elflick range. Yes, Snow is a bit of a strange name, but until very recently, this flavor was called Strawberry Ice Cream. It might simply be that they were pressured to change it to something that sounded a bit less like a dessert or a candy. I'm not 100% sure why, but I can tell you the flavor has not changed at all. Remember, this liquid, Elflick, is made by Elf Bar. It is the exact same e-liquid that they use in their delicious disposable vapes. And Strawberry Snow is my personal favorite thing that Elf Bar have ever done. You get a perfect marriage of juicy summery strawberries blending with a 
thick cascade of sumptuous sweet cream. And to all of that, a generous dollop of flavorless ice has also been added. There's no botanical menthol edge to the ice whatsoever. It is just a frosty cool lard hit to accompany those fruits and creams, which just creates that perfect ice cream flavor. Without the ice, it would be a pretty much perfect strawberry milkshake flavor. But in my opinion, that ice is really what makes it work because you get this really sumptuous and indulgent flavor profile of a thick and delicious strawberry and cream mix. But the ice really elevates all of those flavors and it also cleanses the palate every time you exhale. What this means is you don't get any lingering sugars on the tongue that start to bog you down and frustrate you and give you a bit too much of a sweet tooth. And it also massively cuts back on the likelihood of vapor's tongue. Vapor's tongue, of course, being when you have one vape juice a bit too much and you just stop being able to taste it and you have to sort of reset your mouth with usually a different flavor or sometimes a menthol. Strawberry Snow uses just the right amount of ice to make every puff refreshing and every puff tastes brand new because the ice has kicked all of the flavor out of your mouth at the moment of exhale. Elflick is available in two strengths of 20 and 10 milligram and not every Elf Bar disposable vape is available in two strengths. So it's really nice to know that if you were a fan of this flavor as a disposable, you can now not only get it in your MTL vape kit, but you can reduce the nicotine if you wish, if your ultimate goal is to move away from nicotine altogether. Salute to Elf Bar for being part of the solution to their own industry. We really, really appreciate you doing it. Now, with Strawberry Snow, we were talking about a nice frosty edge to the profile, and that probably got some of your attentions. Icy cold vapes are extraordinarily popular, not just from former menthol smokers, but also people that just like a cool hit of Arctic frosty refreshment with every puff. And that's exactly what you get with Arctic Extreme from the Mist Bar Salts line, one of our in-house bar salts ranges. Arctic Extreme is for the frost fans. It has zero distracting sugars to it whatsoever. If you're a fan of fruity candy dessert vapes, this probably isn't gonna be the one for you, but if you love that cold, frosty, arctic, hyperborean edge of ice when you take a puff, and frankly, you're a little bit frustrated by having to enjoy blueberry sour raspberry with your coldness, Arctic Extreme is what you need because it is nothing but pure cold refreshment every time you puff. You've got flavorless ice, and then you've also got a nice simmering hit of botanical menthol in there. It is more of a menthol than it is a mint, so you're not gonna get any kind of herbal, pepperminty sweetness with it whatsoever. Nope, it is gonna be a nice, cold blast of sheer refreshment. What's more, the Miss Bar Salts line is available in a phenomenal number of strengths. Ordinarily, with a bar salt, all you're normally gonna get is a 20 or a 10 milligram, which is normally fine. The Miss Bar Salts line offers you three, six, 12, and 18 milligram. So once again, if your ultimate goal is to gradually reduce your nicotine intake until you can comfortably say you are nick-free and walk away from the whole affair, this is the range and flavor for the Frosty fans out there. Next up, tobacco. Ah, tobacco. Tobacco vapes are never going to go out of style, I would tend to think, unless we actually do eventually get a generation that have completely stopped smoking for years, which can happen. Ultimately, I think we would all like that to happen, but the world is a big place and a lot of countries do like smoking. So tobacco is probably not going anywhere anytime too soon. That doesn't mean that you can't enjoy that delicious taste of tobacco without inhaling any smoke or tar. And companies like Cutwood with their bar salts line have juices such as Tobacco Train to give you a tobacco flavor that no cigarette is ever going to replicate. Now, tobacco vapes are sometimes mixed with other flavors. Everyone, well, not everyone, but I myself do quite like a menthol tobacco myself. I did used to use menthol filters a very, very long time ago. And a lot of people have found that tobacco mixes well with creams. That's not just something in vaping, that also happens in smoking. I don't know if you've ever had a particularly creamy, I'm not gonna name the brand, but there is a brand of little brown cigarillos that have cafe in the beginning of the name with a 
very creamy profile to them. Tobacco and cream just tend to work together very well. Cutwood from California, they decided to take a very bold step. Instead of just using a kind of custard or a cream or a vanilla, they decided to mix tobacco with banana. Fascinating, but believe me, it works. I was very hesitant the first time I tried it, tobacco and banana, that doesn't sound good. Believe me, it is good. You get that lovely, earthy, toasted, slightly Virginia tasting, rolling tobacco profile with a nice smoky, aromatic, mellow edge to it, which then clashes gorgeously into a thick and sumptuous banana pulp profile. And it just works. The cream of the banana dances beautifully with that lovely tobacco hue. You get that nice bit of fruity sweetness from the banana, but never so much as to overwhelm the delicious tobacco flavor. And I can't be 100% sure, but I feel like I tasted the very faintest edge of some kind of menthol or ice to it. I could be wrong, it could just be some aspect of the banana flavoring that they used, but in my opinion, it really worked. It really brought the flavors together, elevated them into a space there where they could be appreciated from all directions. And honestly, I just wanna salute Cutwood for being bold enough to try mixing tobacco and banana because anyone you told that about would call you a madman. But believe me, one puff on this and you will be a true believer. Some beverage bliss for you now in the form of the rather interestingly named Mineral Water from Nasty Juice's Nasty Lick Line. Mineral Water, what an unusual name, particularly from a company such as Nasty Juice, who are well-renowned worldwide for their Malaysian style of e-juice manufacturing, which uses extra sweeteners and more intense flavors than most other e-liquid manufacturers. Mineral Water. And it's especially strange because once you puff it, that is not a mineral water flavor. I, in fact, actually have mineral water currently loaded up in my B-Mate Pro. And I've drunk a fair bit of water in my time and I can tell you right now, that is not the taste of water, but I know what it is the taste of. And I have a feeling that I can't necessarily say what it is, but there is a particular brand of American soft drink, which is not quite as popular outside of the United States. And I'm not gonna say what it's called, but let's just say it rhymes with Fountain Mew. Let's just say that. And then if you were to take what that is indicating, mineral water, can you sort of see how they might have put those together and come up with that name? Believe me, this captures the flavor of that mixed citrus soda perfectly. You get notes of lemons, you get notes of limes, you get a lovely little dose of orange in there as well, but none of the flavors are too intense, which is surprising for Nasty Juice. They've taken a slightly more measured approach to the flavor so that the citrus doesn't get into a fight. Instead, it cooperates. There's an entourage to it. They all work perfectly in tandem. And then to all that, they've added a generous dollop of flavorless ice that gives it that straight out of the cooler crack open a can flavor. Mineral water is my personal favorite liquid that Nasty Juice have ever produced. I am going to be refilling this pod with this as soon as it is empty. I am a big fan of mineral water. And believe me, I know you might be skeptical when you read the name. If you like citrus flavors, if you like soda flavors, please, please take my word for it and give mineral water a try. You will not regret it. A little bit more fruity fun for you now in the form of grape from the rather interestingly named Bar Salt range. Bar Salt is in fact made by Vampire Vape who are well renowned for their fruity and botanical mixes. They were one of the earlier Bar Salt's manufacturers. They saw the way the wind was blowing. They had an idea that disposables were probably not gonna be around forever and they got to work producing bottled e-liquids that were gonna give you that same level of flavor. Grape is a simple slice of satisfaction because it gives you exactly what it says on the bottle. A luscious medley of red and green grapes, just bursting with brimming sugary juice. 
one of the honestly most candy-like fruits there are out there. Grapes are delicious and Vampire Vapes Bar Salts grape conveys that delicious simmering sweetness perfectly. There's nothing to distract you from it. They don't go with any of the botanicals that they're known for using in Vampire Vape. They don't add any extra ice to it. There's maybe just a teeny little sprinkle of extra sugar added to it to give it that disposable vape profile. And if you are a fan of grapes or you just love a nice, simple and clear fruity vape juice, then Grape by Vampire Vape's Bar Salts line is definitely one that you should consider giving a shot. A punnet full of puffs. I wish I thought of that earlier because I would have said it earlier. And finally, what we reckon to be the very best bar salt vape juice so far in 2024 is another from our own in-house range, fresh banana ice from the Mist Bar Salts line. As we spoke about earlier with Tobacco Train, adding a teeny bit of coolness to banana has often been an unexpected hit. And Fresh Banana Ice is one of the most popular bottles from this particular line. You get a lovely, mellow and relaxing taste of freshly sliced creamy bananas, which are then dumped on top of a big block of glacial dry ice. What that gives you is a deeply frosty banana profile, which gives you just a lovely big throat and chest hit of cool vibes every time you inhale with a surprisingly naturally flavored banana component. It's almost got that real potassium mulch to it, that really nice, silky, smooth, creamy banana flavor that just works perfectly with an icy addition. By just closing your eyes and taking a puff, you could very easily consider this to be a banana ice cream flavor. Though we take it a little bit easier on the sugar with this one because we didn't want to overwhelm anyone. We want that lovely banana taste to be natural and clear and for the ice to just cleanse the palate every time you exhale. And much like with the Arctic Extreme we looked at a minute ago, you've got strengths of 3, 6, 12, and 18 to look at here. So there's going to be a strength for anyone's nicotine requirements. Fresh Banana Ice, if you're a fan of Cool Vapes, if you're a fan of Fruity Vapes, if you're just a fan of Nick Salts in general, definitely consider giving this one a peel and a puff. Well, thank you for watching, guys, and we hope that you've enjoyed this roundup of what we believe are the very best bar salt vape juices of 2024 so far. If there's any bar salts out there that you love and we didn't cover today, it is a shorter list than usual, sound off in the comments and let us know because we love to hear from you. We really appreciate you tuning in with us week after week and we do read your comments. So maybe we'll give what you suggest to us a try if enough of you love it. Have a great one, guys, and we'll catch you again really soon.